Monster balancing pa- Monster- Monster balancing patch. What? Out- Aren't we like six weeks early on a monster balancing? What is this nonsense? Monster balancing patch. Six weeks early before finals. Why? I mean, not that I'm complaining. We'll see what we'll see what's in the patch. I have not seen it yet. I have not seen it, so I have not talked to anyone about what's in it yet. This is my first look, my first impression. Monster balancing patch. It's two o'clock. Also, by the way, it's two o'clock in the morning. Why are we seeing this? Now, six weeks early before final, did Comtos finally like start paying attention to their own game? Like, okay, we're almost, we're basically done with Skylanders. Let's pay more attention to Summoner's War. Oh, let's put some new monsters in. Let's do an extra balancing patch. I know it's not time yet. Let's. Are they maybe like seeing the the matches in the finals? And they're like, why the same? They keep picking the same monsters. I don't. We balanced it perfectly. Oh wait, maybe we didn't balance it perfectly. Could it be that things are broken? Could it be that things are not properly balanced? Hmm, I wonder. That's very... <laughs> I, that's probably not what they sound like. But it could could that be that? Could that be the reason? I don't know. Anyway, I, I'm, so, I'm so excited to see what they had to do before finals. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what let's see what we've got in store. Okay, monster balancing carrying out soon. I'm just shocked that it's so early. Out of nowhere. New monsters out of nowhere. Bounce patch out of no what else are they gonna do? Seven stars! Oh, we have 14 new rune sets. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh okay. Ooh, first thing I see Dark Dragon buff. Okay. Enemy defeated with the skill cannot be revived. Hey, finally a dark dragon buff. Ooh, actually he's can't be revived. AOE cannot be revived. AO This is the only hold on. No 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Isn't this the only AoE that cannot be revived? Because the other units that can't be revived are all one skill. Defeated with the skill cannot be revived. He's great for arena offense now. He's a he's a wonderful arena offense unit. Dark Dragon Buff! The first thing I see. Dark Dragon buff. Okay. Uh, that's wonderful. Okay, let's see what else. Let's see what else we got. Uh, vampire. Water, wind. Water vampire buff. Wind vampire buff. Dark vampire buff. Uh, added effect. The target will be granted with beneficial effects for two turns with a 75% chance. A beneficial effect block? I, is that, is that what they mean? Okay, so weekend has a beneficial effect block. It had two deep, if it was, a uh, attack buff. I mean, attack break and speed break? Or was it attack break and defense break? Excuse me. I, it was it was one of those. I think it was an attack break and speed. I I, I don't know, but because I never use I have the wind and the water one already built six star, but I never use them. Uh, okay, but could this be something that's good for maybe against the light leech? I don't know if I would bring it to in, into arena offense, but interesting and nice that they're adding more stuff with beneficial effect block i think this is really nice i feel like we needed more stuff with beneficial effect block there's not too many units that do that uh neo Sun fighter water wind and light sharp strike instantly gains another turn if the target has 30 percent or less hp after the day Ooh. so if you do damage but you don't kill you get another turn you 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 got you got another turn to at least try to kill them okay okay that's that's pretty nice. Polar Queen Fire Touch of Mercy decreases cooldown by one turn. Okay. Ooh, that's a pretty that's a pretty nice that's pretty nice for her big nuke. So that's gonna be good for especially for people that use her in R five. That's gonna be great. Uh, Desert Queen Fire Charming Voice decreases cooldown time of the Charming Voice skill by the number of beneficial effects stolen from the enemy. Oh, that's nasty good. Oh my God, can you imagine? Can you imagine? Oh, she's gonna be great in RTA now. Okay, okay. She steals. Wooza puts up his buffs, right? Wooza puts up his buffs. She steals. Two, she steals the shield. She steals, uh, like the Wooza shield, a shield rune, and immunity, right? She gets. She can use that third. That that charming voice, again. Three turns less. It's three turns less. Uh, that's crazy. I don't know what the cool the cooldown is. Uh, I don't know what the cooldown is on that. But that's you can keep just use if if there's a lot of buffs. If the enemy has and a lot of teams are buff heavy, right? That's gonna be really good for RTA. Very very okay okay. Very very nice. Although 
I feel that that other that AOE with all the benefit all the harmful effects my bass that never lands that anymore I don't know if she was uh, I maybe she was never landing it but man I feel like every time I need her to land that she never lands it so anyway that's really nice that's really nice okay Rakshasa water delicate whip attack gr guaranteed to stun for one turn if summoning if suffering more than two harmful effects okay if, if any harmful effect. Okay. Nice little little uh, water Rakshasa buff. Wind Rakshasa dancing with passive. Uh-oh. I This one's still... Okay, let's see. Let's see. Increases the dancing with activation rate by 15%. Each of dancing with passive does not get activated. Increase rate will reset when it's activated. I mean, people complain about like, Oh, Theo Mars gets a guaranteed chance to, vi to, to get an extra turn. She actually gets one. So now it's just an extra chance. Kind of like how they buff the Fire Beast Hunter to every time his, his ignore defense doesn't activate, it buffs up the percentage chance that it will on the next turn. So now with her, buffed up chance to get an extra turn. So Vi Me Violence was always, Violent Speaker Damage Attack was always strong on her. Now even slightly stronger. Uh, if we wind, mock crush, the damage increases by 50% if there's only one harmful effect on the enemies. Damage increase amount is the same as previous one with two, harm of two or more harmful effects. Okay, so if there's only one harmful effect, it still does more damage than when it was only one harmful effect before. Okay. So, uh, so like defense break. That's if, if I'm reading it correctly. Uh, Light Horus, Duty of the Monarch. Ooh, Light Horus buff. So they're buffing the, the, the Dark Dragon. They're buffing the... They're buffing a few of the ones that people are asking for. I never... I don't know of anyone that was asking for the Wind of Freet buff, but... Uh, Light Horus, okay. Before, it recovered the attack bar of the ally with the lowest attack bar by 30% every turn. Increased the attack power. And now, it increased the other atta ally's attack bar by 10% whenever your turn ends. If they have beneficial effects, additionally increase the attack bar based on number of beneficial effects up to 20. Yo, this is OP. Hold on. Is this OP? Is this OP? Okay. If you if you run shield and will and you have him on swift, doesn't that basically give your whole... Doesn't he have a speed lead? And then that basically gives your whole team... Uh, he gets a turn and then your whole team gets a turn basically. Am I, am I am I wrong in thinking that? Increases the other att allies' attack bar whenever your turn ends. The other allies' attack so every all your allies get a, a get an attack age boost when your turn ends. If they have beneficial effects, it does it even more. So this is potential. This feels really strong. This feels real. Am I wrong for thinking that this feels really strong? Basically, basically he's got a he's. Got a speed lead and attack age boost, man. That's that's really okay. Okay, then we have uh, Mystic Witch. That looks cool, though. That looks cool. Mystic Witch, Crow Summoning Harmful Effect rate uh, is now 70%. Uh, Mystic Witch, Spell of Removal, Recovery Amount is even more for each harmful effect. Okay, little buffy buffs. Light Mystic Witch, Comet Summoning, Cast Soul Protection on the ally with the lowest HP for two turns is now. Uh, HP ratio, lowest max HP for two turns. Oh, so it's two, it casts soul protection on two different ones. Okay. I see. Uh, water BK, confiscate. Add effect, absorbs the attack bar by 50% each if you attack the enemy with no beneficial effects. Okay, so this just, it'll, it'll steal beneficial effects from the enemy. Now, if they don't have beneficial effects, it'll absorb the attack age. So that's kind of cool. Um, where do I see that being super beneficial more than he's already used? I'm not sure. Maybe Dragon's B10? Um, Fire BK, summary conviction before, strikes an enemy with an axe. Less than 10%, uh, less than 50% HP, the damage is increased by 50 when this attack is on cooldown. Blah, 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 speed buff. Same as the other ones. Uh, strikes an enemy. Now, af strikes an enemy with an axe. Ignore all effects that resist death. Wait. Oh, oh, ignores all effects that resist death. Okay. Ignores all effects. That so this is ignore Vanessa. This is ignore 
Um, it looks like ignore Vanessa, ignore Triana, ignore Samoth, ignore Perna, ignore anything that resists death. Or no, 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 this, they can still be revived, they can still be revived. But anything that resists death, so basically Triana. So basically it looks like he's a Triana counter? Okay. Does that make him good, or, but they can still revive, I, I would assume. It doesn't say they can't be revived. Uh, just all effects that resist death. Okay. Does that mean he can ignore Samoth? Uh, not not Samoth. Uh, uh, Theobars? I wonder. I wonder. I wonder how that works against Theomars. Uh, okay, so we have the Howls attack. Increase your attack bar by 30. Is now recovered the HP of the ally with the lowest HP ratio by 15%. Okay. Uh, water remove heal. Grants immunity on the allies who had no harmful effects for two turns. Oh, immunity. Hold on. This is a... This is a nat 2 that has immunity now. This is a nat 2. There's no nat 2s that have immunity. There's no nat 3s that have This is, this is, this is, hold on, this is... Grants immunity, uh, and the, the, the Light Howl too. These are the only nat 2s now. I don't know of any other nat 2s that can give immunity. Uh, maybe I could, maybe I'm just forgetting something, but... I'm trying to think who else does like because things give immunity like the 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 light and wind golems give immunity to themselves, but I'm trying to think who else gives immunity. Nat two that has immunity cleanse and end now immunity. Okay, okay, and we have a Jubego buff. Okay, water, fire, wind, light, dark, aim body. Uh, chance of missing or decreased by thirty was that. Uh, and then destroys, and now it attacks an enemy, inflict damage, ignores all damage reduction effects. Okay, so it, now it's like against, um, invincibility, like Chloe and, um, Light Lich and things like that. Okay. Uh, the, the Wind one was already good for, against the Light Lich. Uh, Water, Wind, Dark, aim ahead, shoots the enemy's precision, blah, 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 destroy enemy's max HP. HP is now, weakened defense, disturbs HP recovery. Okay. Uh, aim weak spot, attacks enemy weak spot to prevent the enemy from using skills with cooldowns. And now, disturb HP recovery, leaves branding effects, and... Disturb HP recovery and brand. I don't know how I feel about that. I kind of like the, uh... So it's better, f it's better against bosses. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to think of how I feel. I, I'm not sure how I feel about that yet. Uh, Master of Hunting, the Water Beast Hunter, increases critical rate by 20. His old one was increases critical rate by 20. Decreases chance of landing glancing hit by 20. After freeze the enemy for one turn, if you act, attack the enemy under harmful effect. Ooh, this is a passive freeze for one turn. Passive freeze for one turn as long as they have a harmful effect. That could be pretty cool. Passive freeze for one turn. Okay. Fire one uh, before ignores the enemy's defense. Fifteen percent chance. We saw this guy one shot Artemil in COA, right? Uh, we'll see what they do to him. Chance to increase by five percent. Blah blah blah. Increased chance will disappear when the effect is activated. Um, ignores target's defense with twenty percent chance for every attack. Chance increases by ten percent for every harmful effect granted. Ooh, they made him better. Okay, slightly buffed chance to uh, activate it. And instead of every turn buffing it up, every harmful effect you have granted on them, you buff it up. Up to 50%. So, and he has a, the thing about him is he has a higher uh, multiplier than something like Kali or Shren or things like that. That's why he does more damage than them. But it's so random. It's like such RNG. The same thing is like... The, the Water Dice Magician at full, uh, at full damage can do more damage than Lucian, but it's so RNG that most of the time it doesn't do that much damage, right? So that's why you don't see him uh, any more than Lucian. Or you don't see, you, you don't see him any more. That sounds like a, anyway, anyway, anyway. It sounds like I was saying that you used to see him. You, don't, you didn't used to see him. Um, what do we have? Beast Hunter, Destruction Wedge, increases damage. Beast Hunter, oh my god, so many Beast Hunter buffs! Um... Three hours of light decreases the enemy's attack bar by 30%, increases yours by 30%. After faster attack speed, the greater damage you can inflict. Oh, they nerfed him! Why'd they nerf him? 
Because he was making the dark, probably because he's making the dark ninja look bad, right? Greater the damage you can inflict. Unless this is huge, humongous damage. The, the, the thing with the light beast hunter is, his base a a attack is not that high. So this is kind of a nerf. This is kind of a nerf to him, because I don't know how much damage he can even do now. Ah, uh, we'll see, we'll see, but I don't know how much damage he can even do. I have him built. Um, he was, he was, he's been fun, but he doesn't have that, uh, mani attack age manipulation now that I liked about him. Um, okay, so, Dark Beast Hunter, max to attack, 10% of your HP, increased critical rate. After, it consumes half your current HP to inflict damage, it ignores the enemy's defense. Whoa! If your remaining HP is greater than 50, cooldown time will reset. If your remaining HP is greater than 50, cooldown time will reset. This, with, isn't the multiplier really good? So, okay, so he basically, he gives himself half. This is kind of nice. This is, this is, if it, think about this like Molong's third skill, right? Think about this, think about this like Daphnis, right? Think about this kind of like Daphnis, like Daphnis like Molong. He he sacrifices his HP and he ignores enemy's defense. And both of those have kind of, ignore, they're not, they don't say ignore defense, but the mechanics on them ignore defense to some extent, right? Um, ignore enemy defense. But this is, I'm pretty sure this is a way higher multiplier. So this is way, this is more damage than Kali can do. This is more damage. And he's a dark unit. I feel like I'm going to build this guy now and maybe use him for Guild Wars or Guild Siege or something. Fairy Queen Light, add effect, weakens the attack power for two turns, 20% chance. Okay. Light Fairy Queen. No one can even get her anyway. Because she was a, just, that was, that's weird. Add effect, grants immunity on all allies. What? Light Fairy Queen grants immunity on all allies, added effect. The Light Fairy Queen is now super OP. <laughs> It added effect. Why did they buff? Like, really? She's a nat 3. She was already not bad. Why? The, I mean, like, I'm not complaining. I have her built. But, yo, you can't even get her anymore. They're just buffing something that people... Why? Why that, though? She's got speed lead. She's got immunity. Oh, immunity. For some reason, I was thinking invincibility. Immunity speed lead weakens attack power and stuns. So the the first skill weakens attack power and stuns. With the first skill, it's pretty damn good for a skill. And immunity, and heal, and cleanse, and attack buff, <laughs> and speed lead. Wow, light fairy queen is OP. Okay, one of the best light dark three stars now. She was I was already using her. She was already good. Now she's even better. Unbelievable. Uh, so what else do we have? Skill errors of monsters, skill AIs have been fixed. Um, yeah, the water howls, uh remove heal thing was actually really bad. Like, I, I was trying to use her in uh, in the Beginner's Grind. I don't know if you guys remember that series. But, Beginner's Grind series, it was the China account, China server account. And I was trying to use her in, uh, in one of the dungeons, like the fire dungeon, I think it was, that plants the bombs. She, like, never cleansed the bombs. Just let them detonate. They t have a few turns. You can cleanse them at any time. Nope. No. Nope, okay. No. Nope. It was bad AI. Bad AI. Um, leader skill modification increases the attack speed of ally monsters by 10% for the Light Fairy Queen. Was it more? Is it more now, Light Fairy Queen? By the way, guys, I'm on my... Um, I'm, this is my free-to-win server. Series server thing. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? What is it right now? 10%. Okay, so it's still, it's still the same. It's still the same. Anyway, guys. Anyway, that's... Why now? I mean, like, it, it, it really doesn't affect... Um, I'm trying to think what... It slightly affects not too much the RTA anything. It, it, it really isn't going to affect too much of the RTA stuff. Maybe the Fire Desert Queen would be used now, but I can't really see anything else being used. It's just ooh, out of nowhere. Okay, out of nowhere. At least they buffed they buffed a few things that people were asking me about. I don't know, guys. What do you think about it? Leave it leave it in the comments below what you think about it. I'm at least glad they're doing. I would take more monster balancing patches 
instead of less. Some of these seem pretty cool. I mean, Light Fairy Queen, I'm sorry for all the be- Maybe the- you know, maybe they'll make another event where you can get her, though. Because she seems good now. Dark Beast Hunter, I'm definitely gonna build now. Definitely gonna build. Um... I think a lot of the other stuff- Some of this stuff seems, like, really good. Like, the Light Horus seems like he's gonna be... He's gonna be really good. Fire Desert Queen is actually gonna get used now, I think. With the decreased cooldown, man, because you could just keep doing it. You could just keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. So, all right, guys. Anyway, hope you know, hope you enjoyed the video. That's it. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I will see you in the next one.